Thank you, Mr. Chairman, very much. Uh, my amendment is very simple. It says that in order to get a loan guarantee, at least 75 percent of the materials and components used to carry out the part of the project covered under the loan guarantee must be made in America. And if the part of the project covered under the loan guarantee requires the use of a factory, that factory has to be located in the United States as well. Now, I have a report here from the Republican National Committee, which we recently released this study on Obamanomics outsourced, the truth about how Obama has shipped the recovery overseas. According to this report, rather than creating jobs here at home, President Obama funneled money to some of the wealthiest countries in the world to create jobs in places like Luxembourg and Switzerland and Denmark and Finland and Spain. And how did the President do it? According to this GOP report, the Department of Energy's loan guarantee program was a major conduit. So you would think that the no more cylinders bill would address the problem identified by the Republican National Committee, but sadly it does not because the No More Cylinders Act does not require any of the more than potentially $100 billion worth of pending loan guarantee projects to guard against outsourcing. And you may or may not have seen it. I've seen this ad 30 times in the last three days. It's scary. This Obama outsourcing jobs, green jobs. I mean, I see it. It's the ominous music, the scary threat to our country. Talking about this program and it is not just Solyndra. Let me just read to you from the GOP.gov. It says, remember Solyndra, the problem with Obama's loan guarantee program does not end there. The largest recipient of Obama's program to jumpstart green energy projects was the Spanish company Abagoa, which took in $2.7 billion for loan guarantee projects. It just goes on and on. And so this gives us a chance here to set the standard because it is clear that here the GOP and the Democrats, we agree on this issue. No outsourcing of jobs under this loan guarantee program. Because I have seen this ad really 30 times, and it is powerful, and I am convinced that you are right, that we should just make sure that we protect against that. So the, the problem is, of course, that you know, there is going to be some industries that, that are here, the nuclear industry, which is going to argue, I just want to protect you, because the nuclear industry is going to say, oh, we have to outsource most of the jobs because we can't do it here. But we all know that no loan guarantee program should be compromised in that way to create jobs at any time overseas. And, and, uh, and notwithstanding what the Southern Company says, uh, United States and Richmond Corporation about needing to go overseas, that we should just have some standards. And this ad that I think is going to spend upwards of 10 or $20 million on a national buy, um, it is persuasive. And I think the American people are understanding what is going on. And my amendment just gives everyone on the committee here to square up and to say, you are right. You are right, Mr. TV commercial talker with deep voice and threatening intonations about how the loan guarantee program is undermining American prosperity. We are going to do something about it here in the committee that authorizes and is cleaning up the No More Cylinders Act. I'm sorry, the, the only $88 billion for nuclear and coal No More Cylinders Act of 2012. Um, but since that's the bulk of the problem, we have to make sure they don't outsource anything in terms of their technological needs. And, and uh, cuz ultimately solar is just a, you know, it's just going to be a, a rounding error compared to the number of jobs that can be outsourced in the nuclear and other areas. So, again, in the interest of cleaning up the program, uh, I urge and I vote uh, so that we stop this terrible loss of jobs going overseas. And I yield back the balance of my time. I recognize myself. I, I would just again remind my colleagues that earlier we, we did turn down <laughs> the Markey Amendment. We're allowing those projects in the queue to move forward. Uh, the, the Treasury is going to make some recommendations. Uh, we're not adding more requirements. I would, that, that's I think all that I'm going to say. I'll share something with my, my colleague uh, without putting it into the record. Um, are there other members wishing to speak on the amendment? If not the amendment the uh
Mr. Chairman? The gentleman from New York is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I, I, I yield to Mr. Markey. Oh, I thank oh. you. I thank you. And I'm just going to speak very briefly. And, you know, I know I hear the, the chairman intoning the, the magical pipeline defense uh, of all of the projects that are already in the pipeline, and therefore we can ask no questions about them, uh, about where their jobs go overseas, about whether or not their penny stocks are in junk bond status. And this magical pipeline, which protects everything that's already there at the Department of Energy seems like a scary prospect to me, looking at it from the perspective of a taxpayer, um, that, uh, that we would allow you know, the potential risk not only of tens of billions of dollars, but also of jobs, uh, and say, well, you can't ask any questions, you can't take any votes, you can't do anything. We're impotent. We're t our hands are tied. We, we're, we're, we're like Harry Houdini in a, in a big container of water. And, They've all tied us up, and we just have no way of ever breaking out and being able to help those who need help out there, the taxpayers, the beleaguered taxpayers, just crying out to this committee for help to overhaul the, the program, the only $88 billion for nuclear and coal, loan uh, 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 no more cylinders act of uh, 2012 program. So, so again, I, I thank the gentleman from New York, and I yield back to him with his thanks and urge an I vote for the Markey Amendment to keep jobs here in America.